YouTube. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Well, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. I have a quick tutorial for you today, but before I begin the tutorial, please click on the right. You see that little red and white looking button? Just click it. Subscribe. Let's chat, keep the channel growing. All right, how do you turn off the firmware password on all the units that allowed you to take off the RAM? Okay, this is what we're going to be doing. Uh, please give me a second. This actually requires that you remove the RAM from the computer. So this computer has a firmware password and I'm going to try and remove the firmware password by, do, by removing the RAM and then doing a prem uh prime reset okay uh be right back let's open up the unit i'll be right back give me two seconds and just like that we're back so i i was able to open up the macbook and um the first things is to disconnect the power so we're going to disconnect the power and the next thing that we want to do you want to take out the, these sticks of ram so we're changing the ram amount so that we can be able to reset the prem so We've taken out one stick and we're taking out the second stick. So make sure you disconnect. It's very important. Disconnect it so that the logic board does not have power while you're working on it. Okay. So there you go. Now we're going to replace this with just a one gigabyte stick that I had kicking around here. Um, okay. And then reconnect the power. And then flip. Okay. We don't have any. Uh, the battery is kind of low on this unit. Flip the MacBook over. Okay, and now uh, let's make sure we have power. Uh, we have power. Uh, we're gonna press power, and then all right. So you're going to press power, and then choose the option, command option P and R. All right. So command option P and R. Okay. Press and hold them until you hear the chime sound three times. So that was the second time and the third time is coming up. Okay, so third time, let go, press the power button and turn it back on and now press option. So the, we have changed the RAM, we should see the boot options. So that's all you gotta do. So now the firmware password has been removed, as simple as that. As simple as that okay so now we can actually we can actually boot okay there we go so I hope you have found this uh, helpful if this has been helpful please consider subscribing to the channel uh, like and share actually before you go let me tell you something remember to put in back the original sticks of RAM it's only running at uh, with one gig of RAM right now so remember to put in your your original sticks of ram otherwise it's going to not work very fast all right so i hope this has been beneficial please like share and subscribe to the channel thank you ta-ta oh.